I'm Kelly Duke, and I'm here with Ellis Fiore from TechForThought.com, and today we are interviewing Ethan Gilsdorf, author of Fantasy Freaks and Gaming Geeks, and we are very excited to interview Ethan about his book. So, without further ado, um, Fantasy Freaks and Gaming Geeks is an epic adventure about epic adventure, and you kind of go through all of these different phases, it's this big personal memoir, so you give us a summary. Okay. Well, the book is, um, I like the way you, you, you categorize that, an epic adventure about, about epics. It is about my personal relationship to fantasy and gaming, but also it's the story of the culture's relationship, the, largely the American culture, and how what was, for me, a pretty geeky, fringy, um, uh, ignored um, subculture of, of role-playing gamers and Tolkien and science fiction fans back in the 1970s and 80s when I was first introduced to this has become hugely popular. Um, and when I say hugely popular, I mean um, everything from Lord of the Rings being, uh, it was at one point the all-time best-selling uh, blockbuster movie. Actually, I think Avatar now is at the top of that list, so that's certainly same, uh, still in the genre. Harry Potter, both the books and the movies, enormous um, uh, successes, huge, huge worldwide uh, success, and also gaming like um, World of Warcraft online games, which are becoming increasingly a huge part of the entertainment um, mix that a lot of people are, are, um, are indulging themselves in, and it's not just teenagers, it's adults. So the book is my uh, re-immersion into fantasy and gaming, particularly <coughs> excuse me, Dungeons and Dragons, starting with that, and my interest in Tolkien and, fan and uh, Lord of the Rings, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> and then Moving forward, and uh, each chapter is my re-immersion, or in some cases, immersion into a subculture for the first time. And I am sort of the, the guide and the sort of uh, first-person immersion journalist uh, um, um, lens through which the reader sees a lot of these things. So when there, for example, a chapter early on in the book about live-action role-playing, which is also known as LARPing, which is when people dress up in costume and participate in a... Um, full action, uh, uh, full-time, real-time, 24-7 role-playing game where they dress in costume and go usually go to a, a, a campground or some kind of outdoor environment for an entire weekend and, and play a character for the entire weekend. I go and visit and hang out with these people and I play a character myself. I dress up in costume and play a character and uh, wield one of these. Um, <laughs> this one in particular is a is foam rubber. It's relatively harmless. Uh, this is known as a, LARP, a LARPing sword. Um, so uh, that's, that's sort of the, 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 the arc of the book. Um, there's chapters on Harry Potter fandom. There's chapters on, um, on uh, I go to New Zealand and um, go on my own kind of geeky quest to visit as many of the filming locations of Lord of the Rings as I can. I go to uh, fantasy and gaming conventions. Um, and yeah, it's really, it's really a celebration and exploration of, of how gaming and fantasy has become mainstream. And it's also about me kind of coming to terms with my own identity as a gamer and a fantasy player uh, and, and how that, how I turned away from it and re-embraced it. Well, 